let's talk about something we all do, but rarely discuss. Farting. You know that moment when the air turns... questionable? We all hold our noses and try to pretend it never happened, but there's usually one person who can't stop laughing. Why is that? Is it just childish humor or is there some real science behind why we laugh at our own farts, while everyone else looks like they've just walked into a gas chamber? When we fart, it's our body producing that smell, but what's really happening in our brain when we smell it? Our olfactory system, which is responsible for detecting scents, recognizes that it's a familiar smell. It knows it's our fart, and because it's something familiar, it's processed differently in the brain compared to when we smell someone else's gas. That's when the brain releases chemicals like dopamine and endorphins, the same chemicals that make us feel good when we laugh. It's like a little burst of happiness, a natural high, which is why we are often left giggling at our own farts. But for everyone else? Their brains aren't so entertained. When someone else farts, their brain processes the unfamiliar smell as a threat. That triggers the amygdala and activates the fight or flight response, which is why they might gag, grimace or make a quick escape. It's not just that they don't find it funny, it's that the brain's alarm system is going off because it doesn't know where that smell came from or what it means. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Why do our farts smell different from anyone else's? And why do some farts smell worse than others? Well, it comes down to the gases produced in our gut, which vary from person to person. When we eat food, especially high-fiber foods like beans, vegetables and whole grains, they travel into our large intestine, where they are broken down by trillions of bacteria in our gut. This process is called fermentation. As these bacteria digest the food, they release gases like carbon dioxide, hydrogen and methane. These are the primary components of any fart, but it's the sulfur containing gases that really make it smell bad. The bacteria that lives in our gut produces hydrogen sulfide, the same chemical that makes rotten eggs smell so bad, and that's what makes some farts stinkier than others, but the specific bacteria in each person's gut can vary which means the type and amount of gases they produce can vary too. For example, some people have a higher population of methanogenic bacteria, which produce methane. Others might have bacteria that are more efficient at producing hydrogen. So, while some farts might be mostly carbon dioxide, others might be full of methane, which doesn't smell as much, but it's still flammable. Now, why do some foods lead to stinkier farts than others? It all comes down to what bacteria you eat. Foods rich in sulfur, like broccoli, cabbage, eggs and meat, can lead to more hydrogen sulfide, while fiber-heavy foods can lead to more hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Fiber, for instance, isn't fully digested in the small intestine, so it passes into the large intestine where bacteria break it down, producing gases like carbon dioxide and hydrogen. These gases tend to have less of a strong odor compared to sulfur gases. But when your diet includes a lot of protein or certain vegetables, the sulfur in those foods can create a more pungent aroma. It's a perfect storm for a stinky fart. So, next time you're laughing at your own fart, remember it's not just because you're childish. Your body and brain are giving you a little dose of endorphins and dopamine as if you just inhaled a little laughing gas. And the specific mix of gases in your fart? Well, that's determined by your unique gut bacteria and what you've been eating. Meanwhile, your friends might need some fresh air, and maybe a little science lesson of their own.